Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and I hope you guys all really enjoyed my lip swatches as well as my arm swatches of the brand new Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. I'm really excited because Fenty Beauty sent me these lipsticks, the entire collection. Like, can you believe that? Jasmine, little old Jasmine, like that's crazy. I I'm just so beyond happy, so beyond blessed. Now, during this part of the video, I will run down as much information as I can about my own personal review. I've had these lipsticks now for about a week, so I do have um, a pretty solid review for you guys as far as wear test, as far as longevity. That's the same thing. I don't know why I reiterated myself. It's literally one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, before we get started, let's actually talk about the color that I'm wearing on my lips just to get that out the way. This one is number eight, Cookies and Coco. Coco. Oh, I love her. I think for the past week, I think the one color that I've really been reaching for is actually number one, Quartz Candy. This one is the clear one. Of course, I like the most boring one. Of course I do. I am a creature of habit, and if something looks boring, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's my cup of tea right there. Um, but I really like this because not only is it clear, but it also has small particles of glitter as well as shine and shimmer, just to give your lips that like, I have lip gloss, but you don't have the feeling of lip gloss on the lips. And my friends personally know that I really do not like lip gloss. I'm very particular with them. So if I could have something that'll give me a lip gloss shine without feeling like I'm wearing lip gloss, but instead feeling like I'm wearing a lip balm, then yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. These lipsticks will launch the day that you're seeing this video, so I may not have all the information right now at this moment, but I am on the Fenty Beauty website, and the claims say that there are 10 easy to wear shades. The lipsticks are clinically proven to lock in moisture. This lightweight nourishing lipstick is infused with pomegranate butter to instantly condition your pout with lip smoothing comfort in just one swipe. Now let's actually build on that one swipe claim and talk a little bit about the nudes. I feel like comparing a lot of the nudes, if you just did one swipe, they all look the same. They really do. And I feel like for me personally, I would really have to go in with like three layers about, which, you know, I think that's normal um, in order for me to get the full pigmentation so you guys could really see the differentiation between the colors. Now, like I said, I am wearing number eight, which is the second to darkest, actually no, third to darkest shade in this collection. And you know, on me, it's not super, super dark, but honestly, I really like it. And I think on my lips right now, I have about four layers. And I do appreciate, speaking of the layers as well, I do appreciate how comfortable my lips feel. And you guys know me, what do I talk about on my channel? My crusty ass lips. I talk about that all of the freaking time. And I feel like with these, um, depending on how much I use, the moisture can last a little bit longer. So with the four layers that I have on my lips, this can last me a good three to five hours. And I think that's amazing, especially for a lipstick that doesn't claim to be a lip balm. I think if I'm pressing my lips together, this feels very similarly to the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask without feeling super, super heavy and sticky. Sometimes the lip mask from Bite Beauty can sometimes feel like it's really thick and really sticky. However, it still retains the moisture. This has the moisture content, but a little bit more slippery on the lips. So your lips can just glide around and smooth around. The two shades that I'm not too jazzed about is the pink, which is number two, Sugar Kiss. I am not into this type of blue tone bubblegum pink lip. I just don't think it's super flattering to me. However, I know so many people who love this type of pink, my cousin included. She would kill for this and I probably will give it to her to be honest. 
And then the next one that I didn't really like was number 10, Vamps Who Brunch. Now the reason why I didn't like this was because of the formula. The formula to this and the way that it applied on the lips was very patchy, it was very streaky, and I feel like because the glitters were more of like a multi-chrome where it shifts from blue to purple to pink, I felt like it kind of just made it look a little cheap. And I felt like if there were no glitters in here at all and just simply purple I think it would have actually been really good I think that this would have been honestly top-notch and something that I would have been really excited about but because of the glitters I think that it kind of just moved the lipstick around and that wasn't a good look Currently, I do not know the price, but I will have it in the description box below because I do know that by the time I upload this video, I will have all the information. So definitely check there for the price. But I'm going to be guessing that this is going to be around maybe $25 because that's usually the sweet spot with lipsticks, especially at Sephora. And I feel like if I were to pay $25 and my favorite shade was the clear one, to be quite frank and to be quite honest, I would not pay that money. However, I feel like if I were to pay essentially $25 because I'm estimating the one that I'm wearing right now, number eight, I think I would definitely have spent my money on this one. I should also note that this formula has no added fragrance. So when it gets into your mouth, it will taste like lipstick. You know, that lipsticky taste, that like Crayola-y type of taste. It's kind of like that, not too abrasive, but it's there. It's still there and it's still noticeable. Even though I have so many lip products in my collection, I genuinely don't have a lipstick that is as hydrating as the Fenty Beauty Slip Shines. I feel like the only one that ever runs close is by Shiseido and it's their Color Gel Lip Balms, but even yet I feel like the Fenty Beauty one is just a little bit more hydrating and it lasts a little bit longer on the lips. When the actual hydration leaves the lips, you still have a little bit of hint of color left behind, but it's definitely not a stain. So do keep that in mind, especially because I feel like with a lot of colored lip balms, usually when the hydration fades, it really fades in the center of the lips. But because this only has like a hint of color, you don't really see, you know, a whole butthole mouth. Um, it's not that bad. The butthole's not that big. You know what I mean? Um, but it's still really amazing. I think that this is definitely a formula that I highly recommend, especially if you have dry lips, especially if you suffer from crusty, dusty, musty lips like myself, I do want to recommend the nudes. Even though they are pretty similar to one another, I feel like you really can't go wrong with a hint of color for the lips that will also leave your lips super, super hydrated. Other than that, I really have nothing else to say, but if I do, I will have it in the description box as always. And if you guys really love this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Currently I am having my 50k giveaway so I'm really excited and you will find that directly in the description box below. And while you're down there you will see links for donations and petitions to sign for the Black Lives Matter movement. I hope you guys all really enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts!